Welcome, from the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 and today I'll show you how to record a screen on the device. So to get started, let's go to the notification panel and find the toggle which looks like it is on the second page for me right over here. And before I tap on it, I'll hold it. This will take me to the settings where I can customize it a little bit. So, number one, at the very top we have the sound, so we have no sound, media sound or media sound and microphone. Now it's kind of weird that we don't have just mic, uh, but we have both. Um, so we can select that, although if you go with the media sound and the mic, I would advise you to use headphones. Uh, it will record whatever the phone will be, whatever sound it will be making, even though it will be through headphones. Uh, but if you use it through uh, speakers, it will still try to record your uh, through microphone and because it's gonna go through speakers, microphone will be picking up that sound as well, so to create this kind of not very feasible echo. Then we have video quality below that. Um, I would keep it at the highest, which is 1080p. Um, if you wanna drop it down just to preserve space, uh, go down to 720. I would strongly disadvise uh, to, uh, if you want to go anything below that. So 480p, I would say, is just complete and utter garbage in terms of quality. That isn't very usable. And then below that we have the uh, selfie video size, so we can add um, the front facing camera. Now for some reason it actually, there is no toggle for it and it just shows us that it's here. So you can resize the circle, I guess we'll see soon enough if, uh, if it's going to record with it. Now once we're done with here, uh, with the settings we can leave it and then again go to the toggle itself and this time just tap on it. Let's allow all that stuff that it's going to ask and then it asks us again uh, what sound, so media and mic. Let's start recording and as you can see there is a countdown and it's now recording. Okay, and now I can already see that we just have to tap on this little figure to enable the camera, which there we go, as you can see, there I am. So that is how you would add the front facing camera then you can move it around as you can also see and this me moving around will be visible on the video and then whatever you do on the phone itself will be actually recorded so i'm just kind of messing around just so there is something to show and once you're done with the recording simply stop on the let's move that out of the way and actually try to get this so tap on the square right here and it will stop the recording and now the recording is automatically saved to our photo gallery, so let's open that up, and there it is. I'm gonna also mute it, there we go, so there is no sound. Stop on play, and allow again, and there we go, so you can see there's the video. So now let's just, just can see, that was me moving it around, and then I was actually doing different stuff, just like scrolling through it, or was it, there we go. So that is basically how you would record your screen. Now I will also add that some apps will not allow you to record a screen, and if you try it, it will just be black screen. Uh, things like Netflix, I'm pretty sure, is the one that does it, and there's most likely a couple more apps, uh, but I just I necessarily didn't test them all. I know for a fact that Netflix uh, blocks screen recording and if you try it, you will just get a black screen for recording. Uh, but other than that, if you're trying to record any kind of games, uh, just your home screen, everything like that should work fine. Just the um, media that is protected, like movies and stuff like that, will usually block you from doing that. So, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.